Hi guys, and welcome to my first update to my Finish 14 by February 14 project pen. So we'll just get right into it. Um, the first product is this Dirty Wax Vitamin C Brightening Mask, and this is the progress. This is where I was last time, and this is where I am today. So that's all right. I will keep working on it. It is an all right mask. I'm not a too big fan of it, but that's the reason I want to pan it. The next product is this Once Upon a Time eye gel. Like it's an eye cream eye gel, and this is my progress. The yellow dot is where I was last time, and now I am at the black dot. So I'm very happy with this progress. I did not expect to use up this much product because it is an eye product, so you don't use much of it. The next product is something that I wasn't really working on. I used this only two times in the last two weeks and it is the Avon Clear Skin Professional Blemish Mark Treatment. This is it. This is the progress and it did not change so unfortunately I wasn't able to put a mark on it but I'm sure that next time I will. The next product is this Almaderm Face Balm and as you can see the progress from last time and from this time. This is a very rich face balm and you don't need much of it so I would use a lot more product if it wasn't so rich but I'm very happy with the progress and I will keep on working on it and the product goes till here somewhere. I think you, could, you can see it through the plastic. The next product is this uh, Sundance SPF Lip Balm with SPF 30 and this is the uh, progress on this product. I am happy with that and I will keep on working on this. The next product is the Makeup Academy Pro Base Prime and Conceal Powder. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to um, mark the progress on this one, so I will just I can just show it to you like this, but I am using it consistently and almost every day and um, I'm happy with that, so I'm sure we will see um, the pen at some point. The next product is my maybe my favorite product out of this project pen. It's the Pitzwei Brave and Beautiful Autumn Glow Cream Highlighter in the color Brilliant. This is the product and this is the progress and I hit pen on this one already. So I'm very happy with that. I was using it every day and I do like this one a lot. I'm very happy that I took this actually into my project pen because otherwise it is a cream product and it started to kind of dry, get dry on the top. So I'm happy I'm using it. I'm just going to swatch it for you one more time because I really love it. So pretty. The next product is this Deborah Mahogany blush. Um, that I do use as a bronzer and you can see significant pan on this. You can see the pan around the product like here, no, here on the sides and the product is going down. So this is what is left of it. I'm using it every day and I use it as a bronzer and blush combined. So I basically just put it on this part of the face because it is way too warm to be only a bronzer for me. And I can't use it on other parts of my face except of my cheeks because it is so warm. And it has that slight burgundy undertone. The next product is this Essence Isobay <laughs> in Illuminating Kiwi and I did use this maybe three or four times but that's not enough to see any progress on this product so I will just keep using it and hoping that we will see some pen. The next product is this um, Max Factor Smoky Eye Effect Eyeshadow 
stick with two ends and to be completely honest I did not use this at all I'm still working on my um, Maybelline color tattoo in uh, pink gold and I made significant progress on that one and I want to finish that one before I start using these but I do have time till February so I'm sure I will get to these soon enough the next product is the L'Oreal fiber base it's the Studio Secrets fiber base of course we can't mark the progress so I will just um, keep on going keep on using it and with that um, I choose the volumizing lash powder from Essence and when I started using it it was full till here and you can see the progress so I'm very happy with it I don't think that I really like the result of using these two together but that's why they are in my project pan because if I don't like them I don't need them so I will just use them up and move on the next product is um, my Oriflame eyeshadow in Garden of Eden and I did hit pan on this one that's the pan in the corner and we'll just keep on using it the last product was the Catrice Nomadic Tracer single eyeshadow and I thought I have so many eyeshadows and single eyeshadows already in this project pan and I finished all of my lip products no not all of them but all of my lip glosses from my other project pans so I took this eyeshadow out and I replaced it with the Maybelline diamond gloss in fuchsia fever and this is where I am at at the moment so this gloss is so old that everything rubbed off like <laughs> the whole writing on it it just rubbed off so I'll just keep on using it actually I'll show you what it looks like it's really lovely and it's really sparkly so hope to make it progress with this one and get it out of my collection this is it these are my 14 items um, that I want to finish by February 14. I hope you enjoyed this update. Leave me any suggestions, comments, etc. down below in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!